Welcome back live inside Corvallis or inside Reeser Stadium, I should say. You know, way back in Boise, how about this? The 2022 Banner Boys were plastered on the side of Albertson Stadium earlier this week. Running back George Halani and Edge Dimitri Washington both made the cut, as did a pair of Idahoans. Boise State alumnus John Ojuku and Homedale graduate Scott Matlock are now larger than life. On top of this, this might be the coolest thing. Both Matlock and Ujuku were both named permanent team captains this week. Boise State will have two rotating captains each and every week, but OJ and Matlock are permanent captains. It's a pretty incredible story. Um, believe it or not, they actually aren't the only Idahoans leading their respective team into battle this evening. Oregon State has an offensive lineman that goes by the name of Brandon Kipper. He grew up in Caldwell, he graduated from Columbia High School, and he is a massive human being. Believe it or not, uh, he also is a team captain for the Oregon State football team, an honor that uh, he found about out about just about a week ago. Earlier this week, I had the chance to catch up with him, and he told me a story about how once upon a time he wanted to go to Boise State, but he found a perfect home here in Corvallis. I obviously, I grew up a Boise State fan. Um, grew up with season tickets. Uh, there was always the thought of how cool it would be to play on the blue, but at the same time, I was a kid who never left the state of Idaho. I grew up there. I had spent my whole life there. Yeah, I mean, at the time, I, I would have loved to get off to Boise. Um, now, do I care? No. I mean, my life's worked out just fine. Um, but I mean, at 18, did it, did it hurt a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy for John. You can lay on studio. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the first to say when we were we coming out of high school, was I a little upset that Boise State wanted him? I mean, yeah, probably. Um, I've grown up and I recognize that he got his opportunities, made the most of it, and I'm more than proud of him. Um, any guy from, from where we're from that can make it out, I root for him. Uh, at the same time, I always want to be better. I want to be the best. Um, I think that that's just the competitor in me. There you go. Way better. <laughs> I always wanted to play Boise. I remember being, I think, like a senior, in high school. Oh, no! Go. Let's start. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Right before I signed with Hawaii, I remember going through all the schedules of the schools I was I was gonna I had offers from. And I remember looking at everyone, does anybody play Boise? Does anybody play Boise? And I remember thinking, yeah, there's, I'm probably not gonna play Boise in my time playing college. And then obviously COVID comes along. Um, and then I make the choice to come back this year. And it was about the time, maybe a little bit before I decided to come back that the schedule was released. And I was sitting on the bus. Um, I think we were headed to maybe we we're in LA maybe for the bowl game and somebody hands me their phone. I looked at the schedule and I saw game one and it definitely got me a little excited. I'm not gonna lie. It's something that I've always wanted the opportunity to do just personally. I mean, I got so many family members that are coming to this game that they grew up Boise State fans. Like my stepdad had season tickets there for 30 years. So I think it's, it's cool not only for me, but just for the, the people around me, the people that have been a part of my journey to kind of see it all come full circle. You know, there's something else that's kind of cool about this story. Brandon Kipper plays right guard. He wears the number 68. You can look for him tonight on tonight's broadcast, which will air on ESPN. But more often than not, lining up directly across from him will be number 99, Scott Matlock, at that defensive tackle position for Boise State. I joked around about it earlier this week with Scott Matlock. He laughed and said it's going to be fun to butt heads with Brandon all evening. He also said that Brandon is a big, big boy, and he is at over 6'5", well over 300 pounds. He's a guy with an NFL future, without a doubt. And I just have to leave you with one last note about Brandon. He actually wrestled against John Ojuku back when they were juniors in high school. Uh, it happened in the state semifinals. Brandon was it shot John. John rolled his ankle. He had to end the match early. Brandon says it's not the way that he wanted that one to end, but I tell you, tons of history here, and it's crazy that it comes full circle and ends in Brandon's final year at Oregon State right here on this field in Corvallis against the team that he drew, grew up cheering for and dreaming about playing for.